Report to the maintenance bay. Hello fellow space travelers. Today I'm making a video showing you how to tell who's not following you back on Instagram. Plus, I've developed some tools that'll make this hopefully a little less painful of a process. So I got my computer terminal here. Let's dive in. To follow along, you'll need a Mac, a Safari browser, the built-in Apple script utility, and a Google account. If you know how to copy and paste text, you'll do just fine. Here I've got the Safari browser open in Mac OS to my Instagram profile. On a separate tab, I've got my IG follow back check Google Sheet ready to go. I've included a link to this in the description in case you want to grab a copy. This sheet has two tabs on the bottom, one for data cleanup and one for performing the follow back check. The follow back check tab compares the followers and following lists and creates a list in red of the accounts that are not following us back. So how do we get the data from the Instagram website? Facebook, Meta, Instagram has made this difficult by displaying these lists in what's called a light box in the web design world. The profiles are only displayed in small chunks at a time before this little spinny wheel loads the next batch. To see all of the accounts, we have to scroll all the way to the bottom of the list. This is doable if you only have a few hundred followers, but for those of you with thousands of followers, this would get tedious. I've also found that other web browsers like Chrome and Firefox won't let me select the text within this light box. So this is why I'm using Safari. In order to speed up the scrolling process, I've written an Apple script that will scroll down this list automatically. You can find this code in the description below. The Apple Script Editor app is included in Mac OS. To open it, you can look in your Utilities folder or simply use the Spotlight search. Once you have the Script Editor open, copy and paste the code below into the text window. Click the hammer icon to compile the script. And if you've done it correctly, there will be no errors. Now, before we can run this script for the first time, we have to give the script editor permission to control the keyboard in Mac OS. To do that, click the Apple icon in the upper left-hand corner and open System Settings. Open Privacy and Security and select Accessibility. In this list, we're looking for Script Editor. You can see I already have it here because I've run this script before. I'll show you how to add it, so I'll go ahead and remove it first. To add it, click the plus icon and then search for Script Editor. Then click Open. This is just a one-time thing. In the future, you'll be able to run the script without going through this step. All right, we're ready to go. We'll start out by capturing our followers list. Over in the Script Editor window, you'll see a little play button, so we'll click on that. Some instructions will pop up. Please open the Safari browser and load the page that you want to scroll. So we've already done that. Our followers list is open. Important, this script will continue to run as long as Safari is the frontmost app. To stop this script, simply click on another app. This might take several clicks. Click OK to begin scrolling. This is telling us that this script will keep running forever as long as Safari is the frontmost app. To stop this script, you simply click away to another app. I use the script editor to click on as it's right next to the browser window. You'll see I even put some reminder text in the script on how to stop it. So I'll click OK and take my hand off the mouse and keyboard while the automation begins. If you have a lot of followers, you might want to run this on a second computer as this could take some time. Also note that because each profile that scrolls by loads an image next to it, this can max out the system memory on some older machines. If you have a lot of followers, the faster and newer the Mac, the better. Five minutes later. Okay, so we made it to the bottom of the list. And now I'll click over in the script editor a bunch of times to stop the automation. Remember, you have to keep clicking here until the running text goes away. Next, we'll copy the data from the Instagram page and paste it to our spreadsheet. Click on Safari to switch focus to it. Click Edit, then select All. Everything will turn blue on the page. Then click Edit, and then Copy. Open your spreadsheet and click Edit, 
then paste in the first cell under the gray area. This might take a bit depending on how many followers you have. Now this looks pretty jumbled up, so I'll follow the data cleaning steps here. Number one, we've already pasted the data. Number two, clear the formatting. I'm gonna click on format and then clear formatting. You'll see that it turned all of the links to a blue color, which will be important in a moment. Step three, delete extra data above the follower following section. So I'm gonna scroll down and find where our followers list begins. Usually this is around rows 35 to 45, right under the copyright notice. Here is the word followers. I'll select that and everything above it and press the delete button. Step four, filter by color, text color, dark cornflower blue two. I'll follow the arrow to click on the filter icon. It looks like an upside down pyramid. We'll select filter by color, text color, dark cornflower blue too. Can I get the icon in cornflower blue? Absolutely. And we now have our list of followers. Let's select it by clicking on the first name, scrolling down to the bottom, and then shift clicking the last name. The whole list should be selected now. Then I'll select edit, copy. I'll switch over to the follow back check tab, number two, and paste this data into the followers column. Okay, so we're halfway there. You still with me? Now we simply need to do the same process for the list of accounts we are following. First, let's reset the data cleanup tab. I'll click on the filter icon and turn off the filter by color by selecting none. Then I'll delete the data out of this column as we'll need it cleared for the next list. Back over to the Instagram page, we'll open up the following list. We'll run our script just like before and click OK. Now we'll go get our second cup of coffee or tea. Coffee system online. OK, so we're at the bottom of the list. I'll click over in the script editor window a bunch of times to stop the automation. I'll click on Safari to get focus back on that window. Edit, select all then edit, copy, switch to the spreadsheet, select the first cell under the gray area, select edit and paste. Again, we'll follow the instructions for data cleanup. Clear formatting, scroll down to where the following list begins under the copyright notice. I'll grab the word hashtags here and select up to the top and press delete. Filter by color, text color, dark cornflower blue. And we'll select our list again by selecting the first cell, scroll down, shift click the last cell, that should select the list, click edit, and copy. Switch to the follow back check tab on the bottom, click edit, and then paste the data into the following column. And that's it. The spreadsheet automatically compiles a list of the accounts that are not following us back. It's also pretty handy to have these profiles in link form so that you can click on them and decide whether or not to keep following these accounts. And there you have it. I hope you found this video useful and if so, please consider liking the video and subscribing or sending it to someone else that you think might get some good use out of it. Have fun out there. End transmission.